Hello, I've been away for quite a while. Now it's early in August and the COVID is still happening, but I want to start painting again a series of pictures that are really easy for people. We'll just start with simple ones because a lot of people would like to start painting, seeing their shut up in their house or wherever. And uh, this is a very simple one. There's only three colors and white. So here we have the colors. We have white. Now this color here, is Australian Sienna. This is an Australian brand of acrylic paint. It's also available, that's a Matisse by the way, it's also available with Art Spectrum in oils and there it's called Australian Red Gold. Now another way of calling this colour is Indian Yellow. I want to use that colour because it's brilliant, it's a brilliant colour. We have Crimson, that's a Zillion Crimson or any Crimson, and this blue is Prussian blue. That's the colour of the night sky or it's the colour of the Pacific Ocean. So there's our colours, just three colours and the white. So I'll start with my big brush. I just use any brush I can get hold of. That's a nice big soft brush. And because I haven't been painting for a while, there's a bit of an experiment. If something goes wrong, well, I'll just find another brush. And up here we need white. In fact, we're going to take the white down to there. This is a scene Yesterday somebody put on the internet a local scene of the local area beach and a sunset, oh, it might have been a sunrise, and it was very brilliant, very brilliant, and I thought, well, that'd be a good one to kick off painting. So we start with white down to there, just take it almost three quarters of the way down, I just take it a little bit more, that'd be about three quarters of the way down. That's just your white. I'm using acrylic paint, if you're working in oils, thin your oils a little bit, and it'll do exactly the same, but don't thin them too much. So that's our white paint. I'll put a bit of crimson up in the corner. Mm -hmm. and a bit of crimson up in this corner, brush it in well so it mixes with the white. And we're going to cross the top. So. And then we'll go in for the, I call it Indian yellow, but it's Australian red gold, but it's yellow. And by the way, if you haven't got this colour, give it a go in uh, warm yellow. So warm yellow is any yellow that looks like an orange, cool yellow looks like a lemon, so the warm yellow, and I want to put the sun about here, yeah, I think, I think it's the sun, I want the moon, yeah, it was the sun, okay, so we're coming a bit darker there, okay, try that, now I want to get darker up in those corners, so I'll get into that crimson, and I might even have to put a bit of blue in there to get as dark as I want, crimson, crimson, there we go, brush them in quickly. Don't be too fussy and don't keep doing it over and over because we want to see some brush strokes. We want to see that it's a work of art. You've got into it. Now we're going to put some little bit of blue in there because I want that to go darker. But don't spoil your crimson, keep it, keep it ready. Now the darker we can make these corners and the edge a little bit, the brighter the sun will look when we put the sun in there. Let's go darker again, yeah. Duck, duck, duck. Mm. That's a strong colour, that colour underneath. Okay, now, now I have to clean my brush because if I keep brushing with that brush, it's going to look very dirty. And I'll use another brush with a bit more white in it. Well, we could have some clouds. If some clouds happen, leave them there. That's if they happen. Yeah. And I think I need a bit more dark around here. Uh, I want to get that sun look like it's glowing, really glowing. So we can knock those clouds back, otherwise they'll be brighter than the sun. Look at it like that. That's easy. Okay. Now when you put your sky in, don't try and copy mine. Just do it like that. Just get it so it's looking nice and bright. And now for the sun. Let's put it about there. Oh, that's not quite round, is it? Hmm. Nice thick paint. That's pretty thick. A bit more. Oh, I went wobbly. Oh, well, we'll have a wobbly sun. Now, down here, I better finish it off. That brush a little bit dirty, but it's okay. Better get some colour down here. Like that. Okay. Now, with a clean brush again, I'll pick up the blue. That's Prussian blue. Just get it in there because all this area 
the, the undercoat is Prussian blue and we need a straight line here for the horizon I'll get as straight as I can and I, I might have to come back with a better quality brush to get that straight line we'll do that in a minute yeah, that's that and with this proper artist type brush we might be get a we might get a straight line there You can put a bit of masking tape on if you're waiting for it to finish, but uh, if you want to draw a straight line, the idea is to pull the brush towards you. You'll get a lot straighter line than if you push it away or, or try to do it like this. Just pull it towards you. That's straight enough. Okay. And uh, we better make that look like ocean, so... Oh yeah, well, I'll pick up a bit of white. Now, that white's got a bit of yellow in it, which is good because we've got the sunlight shining on the on the water, and we'll get a bit of a bit of something happening here. And a bit more down there, I think, because it looks like the, we don't want it to go green. So you've got to stop at a certain stage. You've got to stop. Just don't keep brushing, brushing, or your green will come through. You, you want blue with yellow laid on top and if you keep brushing as I say you're going to end up with green paint. We don't want green, just a little bit of green is okay but not too much. So that's the, that was the Pacific Ocean out there, it's usually blue. Let's have just one more line of white in this area because I want it to look like a few waves coming in. You can fiddle around with this and make it look like an, an ocean if you want to. Really look like an ocean really good if you want to. Now the painting knife. This is my favourite tool. I love using the painting knife. Blue and purple. Blue and red will make a really dark purple colour. And then I, I'll add a bit of that colour because in nature you have the three colours. You have the red, the blue and the yellow. So in our paint here we have the red, the blue, the yellow. A lot of people would go for black and just get some black paint and put on here. But that's not natural so let's do it properly. We'll have the red, the blue, the yellow and we're sculpturing our rocks. And they go something like this. Oh, they're up high because we're on the beach looking up at it. They go something like that. Now you could put this in with a brush too. But I prefer to put it in with a knife because you get these chunky big rock looking. And don't mix your colours completely. You see all the colours through there? Well, that's what you get in nature. All those colours. I've come down a little bit far here. I'll come down further because we'll put it like that. So it looks like the person is... That's your eye level. No matter where you are in the world, that's your eye level. As long as you're not up on a big mountain. So you can see that. And this is how far above the water you are. Quite a bit. Oh, well, not much anyway. But um, as far as perspective goes, you can always work out when you're doing an ocean scene what is your eye level. And that's your eye level, always. Unless, as I say, you're up on a mountain. Let's darken this in. And now down Brunswick there's a lot of big rocks. A lot of rocks. There's not just one rock. There's lots of rocks. So we get some colours on there. And a few rocks here. I'm talking about Brunswick Heads, New South Wales, Australia. I live quite close to that at Mullumbimby. When working with a knife, clean your knife. Regularly clean your knife. Otherwise, you just end up with a mess. And with a couple of colours, we'll have some sunlight on the rocks. Not too bright. You don't want it too bright. You want the sun the brightest thing in the picture. So that looks like a good mixture. And we put it on the rocks. Just drag it across the top. Give them a little bit of colour in there. I won't spend too long on the rocks, but that's it. That's an easy way to paint rocks without fiddling around. Now, along here, there will be water splashing up. You can do that with a brush or with a knife. If you do it with a knife, just pick up your colours. Just a few colours, whatever. It needs a bit of blue in there because that's the ocean. That's a, that'll do. 
not just white, have all sorts of colours and put them along here and that's your water splashing up on your rocks now always I find an easy way to make water look like water is with a little bit of white on your knife do this and then of course I've picked up some colour we'll colour that and that'll be the sand I better put a bit of sand colour there too okay but it's all got to be sloping downhill of course like that now don't be too fussy with this because this is the corner of the picture and it doesn't need to be very interesting but what we do need is a little bit more white in this area with your little brush pick up some blue and we'll paint a guy fishing which is very typical around this area that's his head uh, there's a hair hanging off this brush but I'll use it to my advantage and he's standing up straight now how do you hold a fishing line one hand there there and one straight out isn't it yeah more or less now to paint the fishing rod in we have to be very careful I'll pick up some blue by spreading the blue paint out now that's just the blue paint and then I'll wipe the knife clean now touch the wife knife in that blue paint and let's try it up here and see what we get that's not too bad I reckon the next one will be thinner that's thinner but there's a break in it so let's reload the knife and get it right okay that'd be okay for each fish and line I think the next one will be okay now here's the trick we have to curve his fishing line, so we curve the knife I have to get my finger right on it and we put it like that well that's not too bad we fix that up yeah, I would have liked it darker, I think I'll do it again let's make sure there's not too much on there, that's too much no, that's not enough that looks good, I think the next one will be okay and we have to bend that to the same curve unless he's got two fishing rods but I don't think so there that's better with my trusty all right got some round brushes here yeah you see these brushes I bought them at I bought them somewhere it was a two dollar shop I, I must tell you because so many people are looking for these brushes and they're almost impossible to buy it's a round hog bristle brush it's a big round hog bristle brush creative pl jumbo you can read that whatever it says paintbrush kit it was about four dollars or ten dollars or something that was terrific i know the, these brushes have gone off the market for some silly reason but we'll pick up some dark well, we better get some more crimson there a bit more crimson a bit more blue and we'll turn that into a bit of a green we get the crimson in there okay so there'd be some stuff hanging in here I'd say let's try this area first hanging in hanging into the picture that's a bush on the side of, there, on the side of the beach uh, dab 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 we get a bit of color on it Yeah, it doesn't look like a bush yet, bush yet but with my little tiny hairbrush we'll put a something coming in here how's that that'll do up like that when I take the mask and tape off it'll look better and across the other side the same thing Dab, 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 dab. Bring it down over that a little bit. Okay, and that's all there is to it. So, I'm not happy with a couple of things. And one of the main things is this corner here, it's too bright. It's too bright. You don't want people looking there. I'm going to sign it now and then I'll take the mask and tape off and we'll have a talk about it.
Now this is an easy picture and I not saying it's a great painting and well done and all that sort of stuff but if you're a beginner and you want to have a go just have a go yeah and if you muck it up don't fiddle around with it get another one and do another one and another one until you can do it really easy see and that off and that off and there you have a really simple painting for a beginner here are the main points. Don't go too bright with your sky. You need the sky a little bit dark so the sun looks nice and bright, or whatever it is. I think it's the sun. Um, I wasn't there. It's only a photo. Uh, keep your water down low. So many paintings, and the water is uphill. Up here, it looks, looks like you're walking uphill. You can't walk uphill to the water. The water is down low, and you're looking up at the guy there fishing. He's up there having a fish, hope he catches something, and put some trees in just to, just to bring the picture in the, to give it a little bit of this sort of thing. Oh, I know what we're missing, some birds. Yeah, we always have birds, don't we? Where are we going to have them? Okay. And another one here. Uh, is that enough? Yeah, that'll do. Couple of birds. Oh, there's a dot there. That's a dirty dot. Bit of dirt on the painting, so I'll turn it into a bird. Oh, it's going to be a big bird by the time I finish. Better clean the brush. That's a big bird. Pretty close. If I get some white on it, it might look more detailed. That's a seagull. There, there. That's okay. Three birds and the guy fishing. Well, there we are. An easy one, as I say. Have a go. Anyone can do it. Kids can do it too, of course. You can do it in watercolour, in acrylic, in oils. You can do it in coloured pencils. You can do it big. You can do it small. You can do it upright. Or you can do it long ways. This is artist picture canvas. Now, that canvas is already primed, ready to paint on, and I can paint on that with oils or acrylic, it doesn't matter. I mask it off with masking tape. This picture is about 12 inches, which is 300 in the metric, by 9, which is uh, um, 225, I think. Anyway, doesn't matter. Do it big or little. But the little ones look good, because also, when you put a frame on something this size, it becomes more and more square. So it's good to have them a little bit longer than what they are high or stretched out looking at it. Suits the Australian landscape anyway, because we've got a really long landscape here in Australia. Everything's big, real big some things. So I hope to see you soon again, and I hope to keep painting for you. And we'll keep it simple for a while. But if anything you want, just let me know. And if you want to say hello to me, please do. All is well here in Australia at the moment. Enjoy. Bye-bye.